Wilbur and Orville Wright, the bicycle mechanics who changed the world with their flying machines, called the town of Dayton, Ohio home. Another Dayton resident, Paul Lawrence Dunbar, was the first African-American poet to receive international renown. Today, the memory of these great men is preserved at Dayton Aviation Heritage National Historical Park, and it consists of four historic sites. The Wright Cycle Company Complex, the Paul Lawrence Dunbar State Memorial, the Wright Brothers Aviation Center at Carillon Historical Park, and the Huffman Prairie Flying Field and Interpretive Center. The Wright Cycle Company Complex provides an attractive gateway to the neighborhood where the Wrights and Dunbar lived and worked. Start your visit at the Wright Dunbar Interpretive Center and Aviation Trail Visitor Center. There you'll find two floors of exhibits on every phase of the Wrights from their Dayton childhood to their early careers as businessmen to their aeronautical experiments. You'll also see the location of the Wright and Wright Job Printers business, which the brothers operated until 1895. Following your visit to the Interpretive Center, a park ranger will then lead you back into history as you tour the Wright Cycle Company building, where the brothers combined their printing and bicycle businesses and of greater consequence first became actively interested in solving the problem of flight. You can also walk through the Wright Dunbar Village. This charming residential area, once victim to serious decay, is coming alive again with recently restored and newly constructed period homes that give the neighborhood a friendly, intimate feel. Just two short blocks from the bicycle shop is the site of the Wright family home on Hawthorne Street, along with displays describing the Wright family's activities while living there. If you have a hard time imagining what the house looked like, just look across the street to see a replica of the home on the corner. The Paul Lawrence Dunbar State Memorial, just a few short blocks from the Wright Cycle Company complex, celebrates the life and works of the first African American to be internationally acclaimed as a poet and writer. He purchased this house for his mother and lived here with her until his untimely death in 1906. In the 1930s, the home became the first memorial to honor an African American. The collections of the John W. Berry Sr. Wright Brothers Aviation Center in Dayton's Carillon Historical Park tell the story of the Wright Brothers' lives and their historic achievement. The centerpiece is the original 1905 Wright Flyer III, restored under the close direction of Orville Wright himself and placed in Wright Hall, the center's main building in 1950. The Multimedia Object Theater dramatically displays some of the most significant artifacts associated with the Wright story, including an original Van Cleve bicycle, one of the Wright's own designs. Visitors can also see the camera used to take the famous photograph of the first flight on December 17, 1903. Just 15 minutes from the center of Dayton is Huffman Prairie Flying Field, where the Wright brothers flew the world's first dependable, fully controllable airplane, the 1905 Wright Flyer III. Nearby, you can experience the park's visitor center and museum atop Wright Memorial Hill. The exhibits tell the story of the Wrights at Huffman Prairie and their innovations in flight. You can even take a turn flying a 1911 Wright Flyer Simulator. The legacy of the Wright brothers and Paul Lawrence Dunbar has been preserved here at Dayton Aviation Heritage. Their stories have inspired people for over a century and will surely continue to do so for many years to come. <laughs>